All right, y'all, so we just pulled up to the first one. Uh, this is an every two week deal, like, you know, 90% of mine are. Well, my ankle killing me today. So, uh, this is it, not a big deal. Uh, this is uh, 12 months out of the year. Uh, it's, a, it's a 70, so uh, it's $140 a month, 12 months out of the year. During the winter, we come about once a month. And uh, this time of year, we come twice a month. So, and the back's pretty bad usually, but there's, there's, there's no square footage. And uh, we're just now starting to benefit from the spray and everything. So, uh, it's just me and the Drewski today, y'all. So, uh, yeah. Uh, and the equipment we're running today, I just want to show y'all, is the... Huh? Yeah, he knows them. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, we here. We got to do it now. I told him I was coming. So, uh, y'all see what we're working with today. So today what we're going to be doing, y'all, is we're going uh, uh, to compare the Skag mower. And this is the Skag. This is the Turf Tiger 2. It's got 89 hours on it. It's a 52-inch deck. It's a 31 horsepower. Briggs Vanguard engine. Brand new mower. This is the uh, the Ferris mower I just bought. It's got the Cat Diesel in it. Uh, it's a uh, uh, 29 horsepower. It's 29 horsepower of, of, of straight power, y'all. Uh, so we're gonna be comparing these two mowers today. And uh, yeah, one thing I noticed on the Ferris here is these thing is this thing right here. I wonder if it's adjustable. See that is, yeah. I need to maybe fix that. So yeah, this homeowner he he wants me to tell him the time that I'm coming and see I don't really ever know exactly what time I'm coming. Uh, I hate the damn. Uh, I hate for customers to try to pin me down to a time, y'all. I hate that. Okay, so I'm going to move the Ferris out of the way because we're going to use the Skag in the backyard over here. Now, I'm not going to be comparing the Skag at this job uh, to the Ferris. Uh, well, uh, we're going <clears throat> to uh, do that on, on one of the other jobs. This one right here, is, this job right here is kind of just, 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 a, just a messy job. It's not really uh, in the back anyway. Uh, but I'll, I'll get some good video over here. And I'll show you, listen to this diesel crank out, y'all. Use uh, this mower to blow off the road a little bit so I can pull the truck up. Time lapse coming. It's a wrap, y'all. About 20 minutes. Like I said, it's a, it's a, it's a every two week. It's a 70. A 70. That's how we say it down here on the side. I'm gonna pull a couple of these little onions up right here real quick. See, a weed killer, it'll work, but sometimes it don't work real good on the onions. 
So y'all see it, man. I ain't got time to be showing y'all, but the, all everything's running good, man. All right, y'all, good morning. So, uh, <clears throat> uh -oh. so me and Drewski today, y'all, we got it, man. We done, we got that one done. Uh, y'all see that I got the Ferris and the Skag out. We're going to hopefully have a chance to put the Skag and the Ferris beside each other on some of the other cuts that we're going to be doing uh, and uh, compare how they cut. But we can't spend a whole lot of time fooling around like that. You know? uh, now we're headed over here to uh, two more. We got, we've, that one right there was really when it's hot that's a pain in the butt you know i'm glad we got that one out of the way man the first thing they just, All right. ready to come. just wanted to let you know i didn't forget you i had a few other things come up i had to take care of no but, worries well i wanted to talk to you about a couple of things okay uh i've got the houses we talked about where i want to get you to looking at the lawn service okay uh, and some of them may need a fairly extensive deep pruning and cleanup okay. for, the, for the year okay uh but then the routine maintenance of the lawns on those now i also got some projects where i, I need fill dirt and spreading and uh some side okay and rock work okay uh, so yeah i need the the, the uh the uh, okay so are all the properties in fayette county no Okay. One of them is uh, behind the dwarf house. The others I told you are all within about a five minute drive of each other off Point South Parkway. Okay. Yeah, I know where Point South Parkway is. I, I, They're near Point South Middle and Elementary. One I, backs up to it, two are right down Webb Road about five minutes away. And the other one is on the other side of, uh, on the south side of, of uh, Point South over in the Elon Farm subdivision. Yeah, I do. I do. I do a couple over there. I, I, I got well, I got one I do over there in Elon on Elon there. Uh, right off. <laughs> and, of Elon. and another one's right across the street off Helmer Road uh, uh, on the other side of 85. OK, so uh, what uh, I was thinking I do is I would send you those addresses. Right. So you can see where they are and then well, uh, when it's convenient for you, we can meet and go through and look at them. Okay. Uh, okay. So some so of those are now four of those also have grading work that needs to be done. Okay. So what I figured I'd do is I send you one email and say these are the homes for the lawn service that we'll look at, and then I'm gonna send you the other one which details more of what I've got going on at the others and, and what my thoughts are in pictures and stuff. Okay, so what's the condition of the ones that, that for the lawn service now? Do they need cutting now? No. Okay. They're Good being deal. taken care of, but I want I, I want that they aren't doing what they said. Okay. And they're just not performing. Now this conversation okay. goes on for about 10 minutes, and I ain't going to uh, drag you guys through all of that. It's basically a guy that owns some properties, uh, he has about six or seven rentals, and they're all in the general same area within uh, a mile of each other. He got a card from me the other day while we were in line at the dump. So uh, even though it took us a while at the dump that day, uh, this is a benefit of just being out there in the field working, y'all. Send it to me. I'll be looking for it. Yep. All right. See you. Bye. Bye-bye. So y'all see that, uh, that's a uh, pretty typical, you know, I don't know that I'm going to be wanting to do all that because I don't know if, if he's willing to spend and like I need him to, you know, you just never know what, what somebody's thinking, man. So, uh, yeah. And that's a guy y'all that I met while I was in the line at the dump the other day, taking all that debris to the dump. So <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, you just never know. He came up to my truck and was saying, "Hey, you do lawns? I need somebody." He's got like he said, he's got like five or six rentals. The only thing about it is they're in Fayetteville. They're in the general area that I just dropped that customer. So, go figure. Well, not quite as close as that other customer. I mean, they're a little bit closer than that other customer, but uh, yeah, it's not ideal. But we'll we'll check out the scope and check out what kind of money he's spending and check out the. You know the repetitive nature of what he's talking about and also check out the money that he's willing to spend 
uh, on other stuff, you know. Anyway, uh, I'll kick back. We got to get these two done. I'll kick back. So here we go, y'all. Okay, so uh, uh, I'm going to take the skag off, and we, this, we're going to compare cuts on from the skag Turf Tiger 2 uh, 2020 model to the 2007, no, excuse me, to the 2006 Ferris. So we're going to see what's up, y'all. Uh, that thing needs to be tightened up. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. So uh, that one's done. Uh, I cut all that one out there with the Ferris, uh, and y'all see it cuts pretty good. So I got the skag out here, and this this yard usually stripes up pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna run a line with the Ferris, and then we're gonna run a line with the skag okay and uh, uh now i gotta get the the right setting and all but i'm gonna hang you guys up on this telephone pole right here the skag should lay pretty good lines in this grass this grass is pretty good grass <laughs> Uh, I had to get the height just right because you know uh, everything's a little bit different from mower to mower. But uh, those are those are two nice stripes, man. That, that looks really nice, and this yard usually stripes up pretty good. So now we're gonna put the Ferris and do a couple runs. It's gonna kind of be a little bit different because you got this ditch line right here. And uh, one thing about the Ferris with these wheels on it. When you get into a ditch line like that, uh, you got to be careful uh, because it'll it'll scar the center of the ditch. So I'm gonna hit this line out here, and then I'm gonna come back and, and probably do a couple more with the Ferris, considering get on this side of the ditch so we can see a clean break. Uh, all right. Yeah. Yeah, uh, let's see. You're probably gonna be on a mower over here for a minute. Hey, I uh, we did all, I think you said, we did all the way down that hill where I thought. Did you leave the pond bank? Pond bank? No, the east bank. Oh, yeah. So, look at the chat, you're pretty good. Look at that. See the lines? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that.
look nice, don't they? They both look good. They both look good, for real. You're right about that. So y'all see them? You got you got the ferris right here. You got the skag on the top side here. Now I didn't get right there in the ditch. Uh, I probably use the skag for that. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, but that's kind of the comparison on the cut. Uh, they both. I mean, I gotta admit, man, they both are looking pretty good. Uh, so the only difference, the biggest difference, you know what the biggest difference is, Drew? That's fourteen thousand. This is forty-seven hundred. <laughs> and y'all see what we're working with here. So is that is it a nine thousand dollar difference? I think not. You know. In fifteen years, this one won't be. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know. Uh, you know, that just shows you that you don't have to have brand new equipment. You know, a deal like it was with this Ferris, that's a, that's a, a, a buy that you don't come along, they don't come along often. Uh, this small right here is 15, the Ferris is 15 years old, and y'all see the cut. The Skag is one and a half years old, and y'all see the cut. The Skag is $14,100, and y'all see the cut. This one right here cost me $4,700, and you see the cut. It's a 52 inch deck on that mower, it's a 61 inch deck on this mower, it's a 31 horsepower gas engine on this mower, it's a 29 horsepower cat diesel on this mower. So that mower's got 89 hours on it, this mower's got 690 hours on it. And y'all see the cut. So uh, the $9,000 difference in price, well, you know how many yards I gotta cut to get to $9,000? That's a lot of work, man. You know, we got to do a lot of work to get to 9,000 to let go of to buy a mower. <laughs> not only do you have to, you have to, in order to let go of $9,000 to buy uh, the deer, that's just a difference in price. To let go of $9,000, you got to, you got to do more than $9,000 worth of work because there's a lot of expenses that goes into each, you know, for every 9,000 I make out here, you know, gross, you probably got three or four that go to expenses. So, yeah. Anyway. I just wanted to show y'all that. Uh, we got to get to work now uh, because Drew ain't been doing nothing. And uh, yeah, nothing at all. We'll put you on the sky. We'll put you on the skag, man. Send you to the back. I miss my X marks. Yeah, we go. We trying to save the X marks. But anyway, uh, I know I don't know if I told you guys, but the twill tires are ordered for the Ferris. So yeah, yeah, y'all. I gotta say that since they fixed the brake on the Skag, that that Skag is holding the brake held really good uh, all the way. You know, I mean it's holding better than any any mower that I've ever had uh, thus far in my 15 year career. Now the diesel Ferris it holds good too, but it's it, it's a that that diesel with a mower with a diesel engine on it's a whole another animal, man. Uh, it's almost like a piece of equipment, you know, a piece of, you know, it, I mean, it, it's got a great brake on it. Uh, it holds good. Uh, uh, and the Skag mower, y'all saw the stripe. So, yeah, we're going to get to work now, y'all. Uh, I'll get back. Hey, y'all, so I got home. Uh, we just got, you know, uh, Drew's on his way. Uh, he, well, he, he's all, he's, he just left. Uh, we had a pretty good day today. You know, it, you know, it, it wasn't highly lucrative but it was getting a lot of stuff done uh showing drew a couple properties that uh that he's not that familiar with uh also by now you will have seen the little video that i did over the ferris and the skag i gotta say the skag brake is holding much better than it ever has before you know and that's why it was in the shop and the Skag um, did cut that uh, one property pretty good. Uh, well, you know, but it should, you know. Uh, the, the, the Skag should cut, it should cut like no other at 14 grand, right? You know. Uh, So yeah, uh, we had a good week this week. 
Uh, the business made a profit every day uh, and nobody got hurt no equipment got broke no uh, and everybody paid so whenever you got a week like that it's a great week and we got work next week yeah y'all so next week we're gonna have we got a couple of uh i got a uh the mulch job I got a grass planting job. We got a job where we're gonna uh, snatch out uh, some uh, pompous, big pompous grass. Uh, yeah. So you know, next week's you know should, should you know should be a highly lucrative week. Uh, this weekend I'm gonna go through the ferris i got everything i need to change all the hydraulic oil in every machine i got all of them except for the skag uh, i got everything it takes to change the oil in all the mowers uh, including the ferris what else oh so uh, somebody made me an offer on the 72 man uh, i don't know what i'm gonna do with it man but if i put that sucker in the shop and get it running good. I'm gonna want more money for it. So make me an offer. Somebody make me an offer, man. Y'all help a brother out. Same time, y'all. We'll see you.